now that we're on the subject of key lights, you know, how to basically get that main light on the actor's face, the one thing I do see a lot of independent films and smaller films, and it's not their fault a lot of times, but uh, it's the crappy lighting, basically. I hate to say to say it that way, but it's this, uh, there's a lot of times harsh lighting falling on the talent, and that basically disrupts the beautiful screenplay that, that I'm listening to. Let's talk about the technique of wedge lighting, which a lot of people know about in the business and is heavily used, and it's very, very incredibly easy to utilize. And again, all these examples I'm gonna give you, uh, for the ones especially that already know lighting or for the ones that are just beginning, understand that you can do them with any kind of lights. When it comes to lighting a film, especially with today's technology of digital and film, and the sensitivity these, these uh, formats have, you can really light with, with units or, or lights you can buy like in Home Depot or Lowell's, you know, or any kind of hardware store. So the stuff that I'm gonna show you right now is stuff that's not only available out there for you guys to learn in books and whatever, but it's also stuff you can use with any kind of lights. Let's talk about the technique of wedge lighting. In wedge lighting, the whole purpose of wedge lighting is basically to have a light that's not falling harsh on the talent, but almost like a gentle blanket of light that hits the talent on one side of the face and wraps, wraps around to the other side. It's a fantastic effect that works in dramatic scenes, in intimate scenes, and even in action sequences. And it's a favorite technique among, you know, the, uh, among DPs and actors. I mean, obviously an actor with some acne problems and some skin problems, for example, sometimes makeup is not enough. Lighting does the other 50%, like makeup will be 50, makeup will be 50 percent and the other 50 percent will be, you know, the lighting. So wedge lighting is fantastic for something like that. In the technique of wedge lighting, you have a light that's aimed towards a surface. Uh, let's say a bounce board, a piece of foam core, some white fabric, anywhere that I can just bounce that light, something that can reflect towards me. So the light's hitting something, and then that diffused light that we get is ran through a diffusion or a silk or some sort of uh, device that can diffuse the light. So you have a triangle going on. You have a light aimed at a foam core and, or some sort of reflective surface, and then going through a diffusion, a shower, curtain, a, a t-shirt, a piece of fabric, I mean anything that can diffuse the light. The effect is what you see now. A nice wraparound effect that can be applied with any kind of temperature. You can have daylight temperature, you can have tungsten temperature, and it's a wonderful technique. Now, the talent right now that you're seeing is sitting down. What if she has to get up and walk around? You can actually do the same thing, but at a larger scale. You can get a bigger piece of fabric, a bigger piece of uh, diffusion, and now she can get up. She can get up and she'll be nicely diffused with a wrap around light everywhere she goes, at least for a good six, seven feet. Now, what if you don't have the ability to do that kind of wedge lighting? There's some other versions you can do. Uh, a lot of gaffers and DPs have their own variation on this. But there's another one, it's kind of like the poor man's version of the wedge light, which is a much more direct uh, key light. And what it is, is basically you aim the key light directly towards the talent. Now, the thing about this one though, is like you do diffuse a light. You put diffusion in front of the light. But a few feet later, you put some more diffusion. So in reality, the light's going through two layers of diffusion, creating a very similar wraparound light effect, as you can see here. Now notice in the image here, you have one light, which again, can be like a work light from like, you can buy like at Home Depot, okay? You have a light going through a first diffusion and then going through a second layer, uh, layer of diffusion. Once again, you don't have a diffusion, go to Walmart, get yourself uh, some dollar fifty piece of fabric and you'll be able to get a similar effect. Again, there is no excuse when it comes to lighting nowadays. You can make it happen. Mm -hmm.